G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. Hope you're ready for another cocktail. I was thinking about what to do for this video. I thought, I don't think I've done a cocktail that is a dessert cocktail for a while. And that's fun. I, I am a huge fan of the boozy cocktails. That is without doubt my favorite type, but I like the occasional dessert cocktail. And something I purchased recently is this lime cello. So it's basically lemon cello, but it's based around limes rather than lemons uh, from an Australian maker. Uh, it was basically, as soon as I heard there was a thing called lime cello, I, I wanted to try it. So I got this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very desserty cocktail. The original uh, recipe I found was based around lemon cello, and I'm going to do it lime. The original one they called it uh, uh, lemon meringue pie teeny. So I'm going to call this uh, a key lime pie teeny, just because I can and nobody can stop me, even if it's you know technically isn't key lime. I'm just going to do it anyway. So you're going to make this a dessert cocktail built around lime cello. First up with the lime cello, oh, you know, lemon cello, which is much more easily accessible if you want to make uh, your own version of this. Uh, but uh, with me, it's going to be lime cello, and I'm going to do a one ounce or 30 mils of lime cello. This is a very sweet, desserty cocktail. It also calls for one shot of sugar syrup. The syrup I'm going to make is, this is essentially an experimental sugar syrup I made. This is built around an Australian native fruit called lily pilly or ribery. Uh, it was actually just growing wild in the neighborhood. There are trees in the neighborhood that are fruiting with lily pilly and I thought I'm gonna make uh, a syrup. So it's essentially I just got the fruit and I uh, put it in uh, boiling water and sugar and um, then strained it and I, I got this sugar syrup which has a nice kind of it's almost like pears. It's very, it's a, it's a fruity sugar syrup, almost like pears. You feel free to just use uh, run-of-the-mill sugar syrup, but whatever you choose to use, we're doing a one ounce or 30 mils of sugar syrup. The recipe I'm basing this drink on said to do two ounces of cream and half an ounce of liquor 43 to top it off. And I'm gonna be a bit creative because what I have is a creamy liquor 43 liqueur. This is their uh, horchata, which is actually a vegan uh, creamy liqueur. So it doesn't have cream per se, but it's of a very creamy uh, consistency. Great, if you're a vegan and you thought, I can never have those cream liqueurs because they're non vegan. This one, liquor 43 horchata, is A, vegan, and B, really good. So, uh, like I said, uh, the original recipe said two ounces cream, half an ounce of liquor 43. I am just going to do two ounces of the liquor 43 or charter. This is a shaking cocktail, so we add ice to our shaker. And you want to shake this really hard because limoncello or limoncello will make cream or a creamy liqueur uh, basically separate or make uh, it turn into curds. It will curdle it. Uh, that's the word I was looking for. So we want to shake it really hard for about 15 seconds to make sure it's fully integrated. I'm going to strain this into a chilled coupe. Ooh, it's nice and thick and very desserty. Uh, <laughs> honestly, if you made it with cream, it would probably be even thicker. Uh, look, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to garnish. You could, you could do whatever you want. You could grate nutmeg over the top, maybe some cocoa powder. Uh, you could do a rim with like crushed biscuits to make it uh, very much like a key lime pie or a lemon meringue pie crust. Uh, I'm literally, I'm just going to drink it, honestly. Let's just get to it. What's it like? It's great. It's so decadent. Ah, this is uh, not for Weight Watchers. I'll just throw it out there. This is so sweet. Oh my god. I have a real sweet tooth and I'm tasting this going, this is really sweet. Uh, mm. Honestly, I probably could have put some lemon or lime juice in this to uh, cut the sweetness a little. In retrospect, that would have been a, a very good idea. So it really, it comes down to, hey, how sweet do you like this? If you have a super sweet tooth, make it like I just did. If you don't want it to be overly sweet, I would put uh, anywhere from 
half a shot to a shot of uh, lime juice or lemon juice, 15 to 30 mils of citrus juice in here. Uh, yes, if I could go back in time, I would do this. You say, but you could just redo it and reshoot the video. I could, uh, but I'm not gonna. This is just what it is. This is an exploration. This was a complete experiment. It's really nice. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to say it isn't nice. Uh, okay, look, I'll do it. I'll do it. You, you pushed me into it. I'll do it. I'm going to add some uh, lime juice to this. Okay, because you bullied me into it, I remade it with some lime juice, like uh, 30 mils of lime juice, and I even put some, ground some cinnamon over the top. Uh, I hope you're proud of yourself. I hope you're proud of yourself for bullying me like that, okay? Uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm broken. I did it, I did it, I did it because of peer pressure, because you peer pressured me into it. So this is uh, the same drink, but with 30 mils of lime juice and... Okay, sure you were right, okay? You were correct that I should have remade it with uh, 30 mils or an ounce of citrus in it. It is actually markedly better, it's still, Fabulous and sweet and desserty, but uh, the citrus uh, is balancing that sweetness a bit. And the cinnamon on the top is nice as well. So, um, despite the fact you bullied me, despite the fact you were very mean, the things you said, the things you said, I heard them, I heard them, I heard the things you said, they were very mean. They were very mean. Um, but uh, to help me through this difficult time, it's a really nice drink, and I'm gonna finish it off. Uh. So, um, I don't know, you should go off and think about what you've done. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. You owe that to me now, for your mean bullying behavior. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, look, uh, all seriousness, I hope you're doing well. I hope you look after yourself when you can look after people around you as well. But until I see you again, cheers.